So you guys, it is early Monday morning and about 2.30 this morning, I hear screaming and a bunch of stuff being thrown around. And it's Savannah. She's standing outside of her room with a can of spray and the vacuum cleaner. I guess she saw a spider that went under her bed and she couldn't get it. But ignore all this. Her room is usually clean, but she abandoned her room. <laughs> She's sleeping on the couch. I'm not going to show her because she wouldn't be too happy. But I just thought it was funny because, yeah, she abandoned her room. I mean, I would do the same thing if I couldn't find it, honestly. But, yeah, it's me. Um, yeah, you guys already know when I look like this. And when I'm sitting here, I'm at work. But I am on my first break. We did get our house sprayed for spiders because that's just one thing that we always do. I do because I don't like them evil things. <laughs> so I don't, I feel like I told you guys this. I don't know. Anyway, at the church that I'm going to now, there's a family there that has their own pest control company. And I'm like, okay, if I'm going to pay someone, I might as well pay church family, my church family to do it. So... I'm not expecting any kind of discounts. I just, you know, okay, can you come spray at my house, whatever. So we made arrangements and when he gets here, he tells me, oh, you get the church discount. I'm like, what? Okay, I I'm not gonna turn it down, but you know, you don't have to do it. But he's like, okay, no, you're gonna get the church discount. My battery's flashing, one second. What was I saying? I was telling you guys about the, um, when they came out to spray. So he gets here and he's, tells me that oh you get the church family discount and I'm like really and I'm not gonna turn it down of course so when he tells me how much I'm going to be paying a month I'm shocked and I'm like are you sure it's I mean you don't have to do that for me I mean I can pay full price because I was planning on paying anyway and even though their prices are a little bit less expensive than Clark or Terminex or any of the other huge companies it's still up there so he's like yeah this is what we do for our church members and i'm like what so they're basically paying us to spray our house not really but you know it's very a very small amount each month that i have to pay so i'm like um i will be sticking with you forever and anyway so i said all i had to say that we did get our house sprayed but of course, sometimes after that, you'll find a few little stragglers here and there because they're running from the spray. So that's the reason why after he sprayed on Thursday, we found maybe like three of them. Ooh, one is enough. When I see one, that's too much and you gotta die. Well, I painted my living room. Yeah, I finally had the, um, I was gonna say courage. <laughs> I finally had the not energy because I wanted to do it. I finally had the desire to do it. That's what I'm looking for. Anyway, I finally had the desire to paint my living room and I really like it. It has a nice feel to it so far and I'm not gonna show you guys, but I'm not not gonna show you guys, if that makes sense. So what I'm saying is I'm not gonna point it out, but if you see me and I'm vlogging in the living room and you see the color change, then you see it because I am putting everything together, of course, for a big reveal um, video, um, which is gonna probably be a while because I don't know if you guys remember when I did, I feel like I'm just rambling, I know I am. Um, anyway, I don't know if you guys remember when I did my dining room, it took forever because I absolutely could not find a dining table that I liked. It's the same with the living room. I cannot find a couch or a rug that I just have to have. I know eventually I'm going to, but I don't want to get something and then in six, eight months, I'm sitting on the couch thinking, this is ugly, I need something different. So I want to get something that I am going to like. And like my dining room table, I still absolutely love it. Should I show you guys? It's kind of a mess right now because um, I work on this half of it. So these, this area right here, it's not used to eat on. So this is it here and it's super cute. I love this table because not the only reason why I love it, but there's drawers here that I don't use. Oops, you guys can't see, okay. So there's drawers here that I don't use for anything. Oh, I didn't even know that was still in there. But yeah, there's drawers along each side of it. What I'm saying is there's drawers where each um, chair is. Yeah, this is not the only reason why I love it, but 
I just really love the look of it. And then of course, this is, you know, where I work, which I can't show you guys the other side of the screen. But yeah, I absolutely love my table and it took forever for me to find it. But once I did, I snagged it. So yeah, I feel like that's how it's going to be with the couch. But now that the living room is painted, I didn't want to look for a couch and me find something and I haven't painted the living room yet because I don't want paint on my couch and I'm not that messy when it comes to painting but accidents happen or whatever and I did get some paint not a lot a little bit on my love seat so now that it's painted I'm gonna start seriously looking for a couch and I'm going back to fabric couch because now I have a leather couch and nothing's wrong with leather but I'm just tired of it and I need a change and yeah and who knows maybe in 10 years I'll go back to leather couches I don't know but do you guys remember when I got this couch here I had a fabric couch that was like a chase um, type of thing and it was nice when I first got it but I also got it when my kids were younger and you know what kids do to couches and whatever and it just was horrible it was ripped like um seams in it whatever and it was just time so upgraded to these couches and i absolutely loved them when i got it and i still love it but i'm not in love with the color anymore because i'm not on my brown kick anymore i used to everything was always brown or green for me at the time and now it's not i want to go lighter because it's just too dark and also another thing, I feel like I'm rambling. You guys even care when I ramble? I don't know, anyway. Um, I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> so when I got these couches here, each of the corners recline. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm not gonna use that often at all, whatever. That's just, you know, an added benefit. Y'all, y'all know me. When I'm in my spot, the recliner is up and I'm resting my legs. So now that I have that, there is no way I can go back to just a regular couch. And I have seen couches that recline, but I haven't seen one that I want, that I think will fit in the whole little decoration scheme that I plan on doing. So yeah, um, that's what's going on. And then I'm looking for a rug. Maybe I should look for a rug first and then couch to match I don't know and then of course you guys I don't want to use curtains anymore in the living room I want that it's like plantation shutters type of thing but it's like a door where you can they put on your sliding glass door that's four thousand so yeah um yeah I do have savings but y'all know I told you guys I need my roof done and um in addition to that i took a hit when i had to get my brakes done but that was a must so yeah all right you guys i think i have a couple minutes so we are at quick quack getting the car wash and we i mean savannah and i and y'all already know she's loving this i am you are
it's Saturday and you guys see me cleaning up a little bit I'm not gonna make this into a cleaning video um, just wanted to vlog more it's just me that's home right now try to hold it where the lighting is better there we go this is good and yes I'm sweaty I have my fan on um, I didn't even plan on going anywhere today but I got dressed anyway because I don't know I just did usually if it's a Saturday or a day that I don't plan on leaving a house I'll just have my house dress on or my sweats or whatever and I'm in the house but today I decided to get fully dressed yeah and I am mopping because I'm alone you guys well if you don't know one of my pet peeves and that's just me is after I mop the floor I want it to completely dry before people walk on it so when the kids were younger I used to wait until they went to sleep and then I would mop the floor and then when they got older I would wait until like either they were asleep or I used to be off every Friday so I would just do my cleaning major cleaning then and mop then but now that they're older and they're still here um Frank works at night so I can't necessarily wait until everyone's asleep because everyone has a different schedule and not that I don't mop often I do but I just have to figure out a time to do it so I take advantage of if they're not here I'm mopping the girls have actually gone to a bridal shower I don't know if I ever told you guys this it's not like it's a secret I just don't talk about it because it has nothing to do with me but <laughs> so the girl's dad he has three older girls and um, I know I never even spoke about me and him or whatever but I met him when I was 21 and he was 10 years older than me and he already had three kids had already been married and divorced had already been in and out of the army and he lived the whole lifetime and I was basically just starting mine so the relationship in a nutshell was very controlling because he was older and I didn't see it then I was young and naive and yeah and everything was his way or no way he was a narcissist and I put up with this for 12 long years yeah on and off 12 years and I look back now and I'm like good lord Michelle I wish I can go back and yeah but can't change the past I'm happy I have my kids but good lord if I met him in my mind frame now there'd be no way yeah so complete narcissist and um, everything was about him and he didn't want anything to do with my side of the family but always I went to events on his side of the family and he pretty much you know how when people are controlling and he never laid a hand on me so he, you know I didn't get physically abused but it was mental a lot of mental abuse and yeah I made it out and I survived but anyway one of their older sisters is getting married and they are going to um, her bridal shower so that's where they are they're gonna be gone most of the whole day it takes at work so anyway you guys um, just taking a break from cleaning <laughs> sorry I was watching cleaning videos to give me motivation um, that was not really dirty or anything like that like I said I'm just trying to take this opportunity to mop when no one's here and straighten up a few things and then, then I'm going to relax but yeah I've been up since 5 this morning you guys why do I keep pressing that I've been up since 5 this morning it's 12 30 almost and I don't know I couldn't sleep so you know how well if you are spiritual or know anything about the church or whatever like that when I wake up and I can't sleep a lot of times I'll just get up and pray so that's what I did and I've been up since five and I'm tired but anyway if I sit here too long I am not going to want to get up and finish these floors so yeah let me do that and okay so the whole entire house is swept and mopped there's a little bit of dishes right there that I got to do and not much at all what I forgot to tell you guys about um, the girl's dad is he was the kind of parent that and I wish I would have seen this I wish I would have been smarter to see this when I was younger but he rarely seen the three older ones but 
when I had my kids, I'm like, he would never do that to me and my kids because he loves us. Anyway, he came around on Christmas and on birthdays and like big events. Oh, they're graduating, they're having a promotion. I'm gonna be there because I wanna see it. Okay, so yeah, that's what I dealt with. And once the kids got older, I don't have to deal with him anymore. We don't talk, I don't hate him. I don't wish him any kind of ill will. I know he has a bunch of health problems. So I hope he gets all that taken care of. I don't want him to die or anything like that, but I just want nothing to do with him because he, yeah, long story. Um, maybe I'll do a story time on that. I don't know. That one is, it, it would be a lot. We, We'd be sitting for hours and yeah i don't know if you guys want to hear an hour long story time about um that there were some crazy things um things i look back now and think wow michelle wow were you that dumb anyway um so like i said the whole house is mopped and I mopped the kitchen a couple of nights ago, so I didn't really mop mop like I normally do when I mop. I just passed the mop over it just to freshen it up or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, I'm going to straighten up a little bit on my console and then there's nothing planned. Nothing at all, y'all. Nothing at all. And remember I told you guys I painted my walls. I am rambling, I know, but I jump from one thing to the other and I'm just like, look, I know I'm rambling. But anyway... I know I told you guys I painted my walls in my living room and I haven't showed you guys and like I said I'm not gonna hide it from you until I get everything taken care of because why we're just not gonna discuss it you know so when you see it you see it but it's gonna come together in a future video and speaking of my living room in a future video I may or may not have bought some living room furniture that's going to be here in two to three months because it's on back order. It's very comfortable. And I better get the one that's comfortable. You know how sometimes the one in the storeroom floor is nicer than what you got? You know, I've heard um, from stories before, but these couches were pretty comfortable when I got them. It's just, it's old. And now here's my dilemma. I don't have a set date okay so let me go back actually i could have had the couch but i'm getting a couch and two recliners so the recliners are the ones that's on back order so they said it take up to two to three months but the couch i could have got it as early as next week but i decided to hold everything to come together because number one my house is not that big i mean it's 1700 square feet but still there's four of us living here we have accumulated stuff over the years and when we first moved in here it was like so big because we came from a townhouse apartment it was a three-bedroom townhouse but it was small so when we moved in here it was like my furniture it was still echoey because we had nothing and so um i mean we had stuff but we didn't have stuff you know what i'm saying so now we've been here since 2011 i've accumulated stuff and it's four of us in here and it's not a big house so i don't want them to bring it next week because if they did what am i going to do with this couch now so what i think i'm going to do i'm going to take pictures of it and i'll put it on facebook market i don't think it's going to sell and i don't plan on selling it for a lot because it's it's worn and i don't think couches are a big seller on facebook market because number one i mean i wouldn't buy a couch from there because that's a stranger's dna all on the couch and yeah you can clean it and whatever but i don't know i'm just i'm really weird when it comes to certain things i don't think i'm better than anybody else trust me because i will go thrifting in a heartbeat but certain things i will not buy second hand underwear is one of them <laughs> not doing that and um a couch even if it's a leather couch I don't know maybe a leather couch because it's kind of different but then I don't know so anyway I will put it on Facebook market but my thing is if it doesn't sell I'm gonna be stuck with where I'm gonna put the couch and a love seat when the new stuff comes and then if it does sell how do I plan it where the old stuff leaves the day or the day before the new stuff comes 
I don't, I, I don't know. So, yeah, if it sells before then, or if I can find someone, what I actually want to do is I want to find a family that's in need that, you know, doesn't care what it looks like. I know I'm jumping around. Oh my gosh, you guys. When I first got these couches, y'all OGs who's been here for a long time, you guys remember when I first got this couch set? It was amazing. We were so happy and because all four sides were recline and oh and speaking of we I, I know just all over the place. The new couch reclines and I got two recliners. So anyway, um now I'm spoiled. I have to have it. I have to have that now. But when we first got these couches, we loved it so much and I picked it out because it was brown and that's when I was on my browns and greens and my dark colors that I love them. Now, nothing's wrong with it, but not so much. I, I don't want any of that. So that's the reason why I'm changing. I'm brightening everything up. So yeah, you guys um, said all that to say that we're either going to have a house full of furniture or we're going to be sitting in the dining room chairs in the living room if this sells or if I can give it away. So yeah, we'll see you guys. I mean, it'll all work out in the end. So yeah. All right. I think the floors are dry so I can go ahead and walk on. Okay, you guys. Um, it's June 25th. 10:45 at night and two hours ago I tested positive um, I was fine up until today that I started feeling um, like sick to my stomach like I was gonna throw up and then I got a headache fever and chills and my throat was hurting actually I woke up with my throat hurting this morning and it just got worse and it felt different I took two because I couldn't believe the first one it's like are you serious this is the first time I am getting it I've gone all this time without getting it um, yeah it could be worse if I wasn't vaccinated I know so that's awesome I feel like I've been hit by a truck and tomorrow I have a telephone appointment at Kaiser and then um, my mom was telling me that they have medicine for it now to help you relieve your symptoms I'm freezing you guys I have my I don't know if you can hear it I have a little heater here and I have this on because I'm freezing and I cannot get warm I haven't started coughing yet I don't know if you completely cough. I coughed a few times today, but it's not a consistent cough. Maybe it'll come overnight. I don't know. But um, my kids were negative, which is good. So I will be in my room for the next seven days to 14 days. I don't know. But um, I'm so tired, you guys. They're going to schedule me because their website is down. I have an app that I can schedule the... Um, COVID test but the app is down so I'll just wait for tomorrow and schedule one because I need an official document for my job because we do have COVID pay I will keep you guys updated um, but I'm gonna go lay down right now because I feel like I've been hit by a truck and this is no joke good morning it's Sunday um, I had a rough night last night fever and chills and tossing and turning I wouldn't wish this on my enemy this is horrible and if I felt like this and I'm vaccinated I can only imagine what people who are not vaccinated are going through yeah um, I have my phone appointment later on and then hopefully they can schedule me with a um, Hopefully they can schedule me to get another test, um, an official one for my job. So, because we do have COVID pay. I don't know if I told you guys this. I probably did. I feel like I'm repeating myself. So, yeah. Um, right now, not so much as chills, but I do have a fever and body aches. And my taste is starting to change. Um, 
I don't know, I just, I had some water and it tasted really weird. So, I'm guessing that's going. Yeah. Okay, you guys, so I just got off the phone with the doctor and he actually um, prescribed some medicine for me. I don't know what it is, but something that's supposed to help with COVID. And he said something about if I don't hear from the pharmacy in a couple of hours, give them a call, but they usually deliver it to your house. So I don't know, I guess my kids won't have to go pick it up, which is great, but yeah, he said if I don't hear from them in a couple of hours to give them a call. At first, they didn't want to schedule me a COVID test because they said the ones you take at home is fine, but with my job, you need an official one, a professional one, whatever you want to call it, from a place, not the home one, because I guess they said you can, you know, borrow it from someone else, which, okay, whatever, I don't know why people want to do that, but, you know, people have been doing crazy things since COVID. So, did I tell you guys I took two? I took two. Every time I look at this, I feel like it's a pregnancy test. <laughs> But anyway, this is the first one that I took and because the line is so faint and I'm like, no, you know, I probably did it wrong and I don't have COVID. So then I took the second one and it came in because, you know, with these, you're supposed to wait 15 minutes. This came up in like 30 seconds. So, yeah, you guys, my appointment is tomorrow um, for an official COVID test that I can send to my job so I can get paid. So here's the thing, my job, it's saying five days and then you can go back if you've been vaccinated. I'm sorry, but I don't know what made my place think it's a doctor, but my doctor said I should isolate for 10 days and he's sending me a note for that. So um, starting tomorrow, I'll get paid for all next week. And then he said, technically I can't go back to work until Wednesday next week, so. Yeah, I'll be getting paid for it, and I'm just gonna be at home, relaxing, resting. How do I feel right now? Um, the fever, well, the fever and chills are gone, but my head, and I'm all congested, and my taste buds are off. So, yeah, and I feel like my, my body aches. I feel like I've been hit by a truck and I'm just really tired. So I'm gonna lay down and try to give you guys an update later. I turned it down so I can talk to you guys, but I'm watching my church online. There's Savannah right there, she's singing. That's my friend Deborah. I can watch it online since I'm not gonna be there today because I'm infected and I'm just covering up the um, the name of my church, so, yeah. That's my pastor right there, the new pastor. they delivered my medicine I thought she was gonna put it like by the door and take off but she rang the doorbell and I kind of waited even though I had my mask on because I'm the only one here right now but anyway um, she handed it to me and I made sure to you know not touch her hands or anything like that but I think it's called Paxlovid um, or Paxlovid yeah something like that but anyway you take three pills every 12 hours let me show you guys so it's for five days and this is like the morning dose and then the night dose and then there's three pills and you're supposed to take them all at the same time and they are just supposed to help with the symptoms make sure it doesn't get worse so I have five packs of these that are in this little thing right here good morning it is day three um, and before you get on me thinking, oh, what is she doing out in public? I'm not. Well, technically I am out in public, but, um, I'm getting my COVID test. I'm at Kaiser. I don't know why my job. So the thing is with Kaiser, if you took a home test, then 
you're not eligible for a COVID test through them because that one is good enough. I don't know why that's not good enough for my job. My doctor had to push for this because I need the official one in order to be paid. So, yeah. I'm a little bit early, which I came early on purpose because I felt myself drifting off back to sleep and I didn't want to just lay in bed. I wanted to take this time to get some fresh air, even though after this, it's right back home. So, yeah. I've been here before, you guys, at this area at Kaiser to have a COVID test. But when you actually have COVID, I feel like they should bring us through a different door. So yeah, my appointment is at 9.15, it's 8.42. I really want some coffee, you guys. I could just probably have Savannah make it for me when I get home, because Cheyenne went to work. I really want Starbucks coffee but I'm not gonna go get it. Knowing you have it, it's just different. I'm, I'm not gonna be that one. Even though I'm sure there are other people who do it and don't care, I'm not. I don't think it's fair to possibly infect someone else because, you know, what if it's on something that I touch and they touch their mouth or their eyes or something like that? I don't know. So, yeah, I'll just wait till I get home. Yeah, you guys, I feel better today. I still feel like garbage. Yeah, don't get me wrong, it's no joke. I still don't feel good, but my head still hurts and I've developed a cough. So yeah, fun times, fun times. All right, let me get ready to go in there and I'll update you guys a little bit more later. I wanted to vlog a little bit more last night just to update you on how I was feeling. <laughs> But I wasn't feeling that great. So the only thing I did was I forced myself to get up and take a shower because Cheyenne was like, Mom, you look homeless. Thanks. Thanks for that. So I got up and took a shower and kind of like just, I don't know, just tried to make myself feel better. I have made it back home. I'm gonna open up my blind so my room won't feel like a dungeon, even though I feel like I'm living in one so i just talked to someone at my job from hr and he deals with like the safety compliance and all that stuff right and he said that my at home test is just fine so i sent him a picture of that and he's going to send me like information as far as when my symptoms started and whatever so they can get started on my um covid pay because i just want to make sure that that is taken care of because I don't want to be hit with just not getting paid at all. I mean, there's nothing I could do about it, but I want to make sure it's on the next check. So, yeah, that's all. I'm going to lay down because I'm very winded right now. Everything I do is exhausting, and I'm already out of shape, so it doesn't make it any better. But... Yeah, I'm gonna lay down. Okay, so it's like almost noon and Savannah heated up some food for me. It is so gross. It's not her fault, but my taste is changing. Everything, everything tastes bland, like no seasoning. It was like the noodles are cooked in water with no flavor. I don't even wanna eat it all. It's disgusting. Have to make sure I keep liquids down, so. Yeah, my head is still hurting. Constant headache that won't go away. And yeah, no fever, no chills. That's a good thing, but I still feel like garbage. So it's coming in waves. Now everything hurts. My head hurts. And I'm just really, really lethargic. I've been sleeping on and off all day and just when I think that oh I've had enough sleep I'm sleepy again matter of fact I'm sleepy right now and I just woke up from a nap not eating very well which is okay uh, I'm not gonna waste away but I am drinking my fluids I am doing that you guys um, I'm having to force myself to do it because I really don't want to do anything 
but I am keeping up on my fluids. I'm staying hydrated. So far, everyone else in the house is okay. Um, they all took another COVID test and they're negative, which is a good thing. Good morning, everyone. It is day four. And even though I know I don't sound like it, my throat just really hurts. I feel better today. My headache is gone. I know I'm still contagious, so I still have to stay in my little box here. But so far, so good. I feel better. I'm about to take my um, morning dose of the medicine. Let me show you guys what they look like. And you just take them all together. He had told me they came in capsules, but they didn't. So, yeah, I'm just going to take these. So, I've been up since around 630 because all I've been doing is sleeping. So I got up and of course scrolled on social media for a little while and um, looked at things on YouTube. But I'm just sitting here with my cough drops and my tissue because my nose is running like a fountain and I'm trying not to be bored. Yeah, I can't even go in my living room. I mean, technically I can or whatever with my mask on, but no, I'd rather just be here. That way they can have the run of the house and not worry about what I touch or anything like that. So it's bad enough when I go through this process, I'm going to have to wipe down everything in my room or whatever um, once I'm not in the contagious stage anymore. So yeah, I am better today, you guys. I am better. Um, last night, um, I know I didn't vlog after the last time I vlogged, but, um, maybe around 11, Shine was still up, but I was thankful because Savannah and Tyreek were asleep, and she came in to check on me before she went to bed, and I told her I'm so hungry, and, you know, so she made me some food, and I was actually able to taste it a little bit. And it was actually the food that she had cooked the night before. So either it has a lot of seasoning, which I doubt, but I think my taste buds are returning. That's a good thing. So I was actually able to eat it without, like, I don't want this. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I haven't eaten anything yet today. Not really hungry. It is much later and I am in the same spot. Actually, I got up and walked around my room. That's about it. I sat in my reading chair over there in the corner. That's about it. Um, can I help you? Savannah came in here to get something and she covered her mouth, ran and got my brush and walked out. Today, so far, I'm fine didn't pick up the camera to vlog anything because there's nothing to vlog because I've been here all day like literally on my bed catching up on YouTube subscriptions watching documentaries and just whatever I wanted a vacation from work but this is not what I had in mind I mean like a vacation to go somewhere fun not to sit on my bed yeah that's awesome so I'm about to get up and go take a shower. Yeah. And my kids are in there laughing and giggling and having a good time. Yeah. Hmm. This is no fun. This is no fun. And I'm convinced, I may sound silly, but I'm, I'm convinced that by now it's on things that we touch. Maybe. I don't know because I still wear my mask. I wear my mask at work, even though they drop the mask mandate in my state. I don't know about any other state, but at work, even though our cubicles are keeping up with the new rules now away from each other and the walls are really high up, I still wear my mask. Not when I'm sitting by myself, but when they come around, I'll just put it back up. The only place I don't wear it often is church. And that's because when I go up there to sing. But other than that, grocery store, stores, I have a mask on.
today is Saturday. It is day seven. I took a test last night and came back negative. But of course, I'm still isolating because they said 10 days or whatever. So this is day seven. So my, <laughs> I call it my punishment period, will be over on Tuesday. So Monday will be the last day. My doctor actually gave me off till Thursday. And my job is adamant about, oh, you can come back after 10 days. Actually, see, I don't know what is up with some companies, but they were trying to say that, oh, you can come back after the fifth day as long as you're vaccinated, but you have to wear one of those N95 masks. Um, I'm still contagious and whatever and you want me to come back to work hacking and bringing this into the building no no i was like that's not gonna happen yeah i'm not one of those people and even though right now i'm testing negative i feel that i'm fine but i'm just gonna do the full 10 days because that's what my doctor said to do and what if yeah i'm negative but what if i can still give it to someone <clears throat> just because I'm fine we open up the front door because you guys know I have the security gate and the back door and I opened up the windows in my room and we're letting fresh air come in just to kill anything or whatever and she went around the house spraying like Lysol in the air and whatever Monday I'm gonna go um, well I'm not gonna go but I'm gonna get some wipes and wipe down everything in my room that I touched and whatnot and change my sheets and yeah, that's what we're gonna do. But anyway, just giving you guys an update. I am fine for some reason. This is a good thing though. It did a toll on my stomach and I can't eat as much, which is good. So I get full like super fast. One more dose of the medication and I will be done. Other than that, um, it's been a, interesting ride it could have been worse but thank god i just thank god okay. today is day nine and today is the first day that i ventured out not out of the house outside of my room because you guys know my room has a bathroom in it so the kids have been bringing me everything i need in front of the door so today is sunday and i feel fine by the way i feel great um did I tell you? I think I told you guys and showed you. I don't know if I showed you guys that I took a COVID test and it came out negative, but I'm still on quarantine. And I did go out to the living room because Tyreek is at work. The girls went to run some to run some errands earlier, and I'm like, I need to get out of my room or I'm going to go crazy. So they had the front door open, and we opened up the back door, the sliding door letting the air circulate it feels so good and I sat in my chair and whatnot and watched a little bit of TV it took about two hours and I'm like okay I guess I'll go back to my dungeon but I had this on because now I will instead of having them bring me things I will just make sure my hands are clean and I'll go in the kitchen and I'll grab whatever I need for myself but I will still keep my mask on so I just came back from the living room so that's the reason why I have the mask on so yeah one more day of quarantine and then I am free but I'm off work until Thursday I'm taking advantage of every moment of it because we have COVID pay and all that stuff so yeah you guys I honestly feel like I can go out and be normal but I'm I'm a rule follower so I am going to listen and stay quarantined the full 10 days but yeah um, there's actually not a whole lot to vlog that's the reason why even though I have all the time to vlog right now because I'm literally not doing anything but there's nothing to vlog I have decided to take my curtains down that are on my window <laughs> right here I'm gonna take them down and wash them because it's just time they're just getting a little dingy so it's just time to put them in a wash and then hang them back up that's the most exciting thing i'm gonna do today you guys yeah oh i don't know if i told you guys 
I take that back. That's not the most exciting thing I have done today because it's much later. It's seven o'clock and I'm just now picking up the camera. But anyway, so I don't know if I told you guys, but my brother who lives here in Sacramento, him and his wife had a baby about four months ago. She's so cute. We had a video call because I still haven't seen her. And of course, with everything going on now, and I was actually supposed to see her about six weeks ago and then things just started happening and I don't know my brakes went out but I had a snowball of issues that, that happened and then right before I got COVID I had a nail in my tire and then the day that I was supposed to go fix it that's the day I found out I had COVID so now I'm riding around with a donut on my car so it was just like a bunch of issues that were happening and I didn't get out to see her she didn't want and which I totally understand when the baby was first born she didn't want anyone over because you know the way the things are in the world now and she can't get vaccinated yet so my mom did get to see her but um we did video calls but I've seen a bunch of pictures of her oh my gosh she's so cute she's so cute and so chunky I can't wait to show you guys her and she has some pictures for me um let me see if i can find a picture on my phone that's recent i'll show you guys but yeah my little niece so here's a picture of my sister-in-law and my niece and she wouldn't mind me showing you guys this you guys did see her at um, um tariq's wedding and my brother so yeah that's her and the baby and that's my brother focus that's my brother and his wife and his kid this is his first kid y'all so excited uh, let's see if it'll focus better on my brother's face so you guys can see how handsome he is it's my brother and his daughter yeah and then that's her oh my gosh she's so cute she's so adorable and this was actually like when she was a baby baby she's a little bit bigger than that now um yeah look at her so yeah that's it i am taking an at-home test even though like three days ago i took one and it said it was negative and I'm just using this that I got from the post office. I feel like I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> if you guys didn't know, you can go to USPS.com and order um, some tests. And they send you four boxes. There's two tests in each. Absolutely free. You don't even have to pay shipping or anything like that. So if you didn't know, do it. Um, there was like three people that I told over the last week that did not know so yeah it's warm in here it's warm over here i am about to take the test so little packet here i'm just gonna open it I'm sitting on my floor because i was actually gathering my dirty clothes so i can go wash them and i just decided to take the test while i'm here So it's just this, put that up there. And I already washed my hands, you guys. So this is the little, where you put the solution in. And this is the solution right here. I just opened it and I'm just gonna pour it in. You guys, I was watching a documentary on Netflix. I think her name was Rachel or Rachel Dozell, the white lady who pretended to be black okay is it right here and then they gave you the swab as well and you just do five times in each nose which I'm so thankful we can do these at home now and that they realize you don't have to go so far up the nose the very first time I got tested it hurt so much because they went too far up so I still hate doing this though, it tickles my nose. Whew. It just gives me the like, I don't know, heebie jeebies. Okay. And then you open this. And then you put it in for like 15 seconds. Um, 
slosh it around there and make sure it gets on the walls of the little container there. So anyway, I'm watching that documentary and I'm thinking, okay, let me watch it and see what she's saying and give her the benefit of the doubt or whatever. Maybe, you know, she did it because she, you know, hated the injustice that she's seen black people go through or whatever. And I'm watching it and, okay, so now that this is set, I'm going to put three drops in here and then you're supposed to wait 15 minutes for the accurate is result so anyway as I'm watching it and of course there's some people who st stayed on her side or whatever but her parents you know she was born to white parents and my thing is you can love different cultures I love the Hispanic culture I always joke with my kids and say that in my past life I was a Spanish woman but I know I'm not a Latina woman Okay, and I'm not going to go acting like I'm one and pretending like I'm one or saying that I'm Afro-Latina because I'm not, you know. I don't know why I'm holding this looking at it. It's going to take a minute. Anyway, yeah, I'm watching it and trying to be or trying to um, see where she was coming from. But I can't. It's still playing. I won't even finish it because she's very delusional and prime example of her privilege so that's all I'm gonna say about that so yeah um so far only one line I'm COVID free well I knew I was COVID free but the weird thing now you guys I'm losing my voice I don't know why I woke up this morning and my voice was really hoarse and yes I was coughing um throughout this but I don't know I don't know why my throat is feeling this way I'll still check it at 15 minutes but so far you guys so far only one line so i am covid free which means focus on me come on back to me okay which means that today is day 10 tomorrow i am off a of punishment that's what i call it you know when you get in trouble and you get sent to your room when you when you were a kid and couldn't do anything i feel like i'm on punishment not really i mean i get it but yeah, I feel like I'm just rambling because there's nothing for me to do and so I'm just sitting in here talking to you guys whatever so oh, My door was open and no one was there because my windows are open. It just kind of startled me. Anyway um, That's it. Just wanted to show you guys that I'm COVID free and I'm pretty sure even though it's not 15 minutes I'm pretty sure another line is not gonna miraculously appear because it would have already done it. So Yay, I am free tomorrow Yes Good morning everyone. It's the next day and yes, my voice is still sounding like this, but I wanted to come in and end out the video because I have not been doing that lately on this channel. So I'm going to end it properly today. So I'm a free lady as far as, you know, COVID and all that and no, I'm not just going out in the streets, whatever I am going to. Oh my goodness. Give me some air. It's hot already. I am going to get my tire fixed because I'm riding on a donut because I don't know if I told you guys but the day before I found out I had COVID I had a nail in my tire and the shop wasn't able to fix it that day and then it was too close where I had the other nail so this is the second time I've had a nail in my tire forget my voice you guys getting a nail in my tire one time okay two times is a coincidence on the same tire third time um someone is targeting me i don't know but anyway i'm gonna leave it here you guys um thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up and please let me know have you guys had covid and what were your symptoms were they um, mild were they severe so anyway you guys thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'm gonna start a new vlog now but i'll see you guys in the next video Bye.